So we're getting ready to change the rear brake shoes in this 2002 Ford Ranger. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and subscribe to all of our notifications. That way they'll get a heads up when we upload a new video. All right, so we're gonna remove the drum um, from this and inspect the seal. I was suspecting that we're gonna see wetness like this. So the, the wheel seal um, let loose on it. So we're gonna change that out and we're gonna clean up the drum and reuse the drum. And um, so we have our brake spring tools here. We're gonna remove and reuse the brake springs. The wheel cylinder was changed on this thing recently and had new shoes, but then the axle seal let loose. So we're gonna reuse all of our hardware, um, just replace the shoes. I set up a little area here so that when we remove our springs and everything, if you're not familiar with doing this all the time, you're gonna to wanna to lay everything out in order so that it all go back to the same way. You can look at your other side as well, but it's just, nice to lay everything out nice and uh, nice and neat. So, so we got our spring tool here and we're gonna roll it underneath the spring here and we can roll the springs off. And we're gonna lay our tool over, spring over in there. This one off here. We got our clip here that the cable rides on. We can keep that all together. We got our cable here, which connects down into our lever here for the um, self-adjuster. And if we slide this pin in here, we can pull that off and we have the whole spring assembly off here. This all goes on this side. So we're gonna lay that all out. Um, now at this point, we can pull the shoes back a little bit. We can slide our center bar out here. This is for the emergency brake. I'm gonna lay that in place here. Um, we're gonna remove our spring here and get this off. Now this clip, we have to remove this clip here to take it off for the emergency brake shoe. Now this bar down here rides and is connected to your cable for the emergency brake cable, connects up to this thing here. So this is gonna stay in here. So we're gonna remove this clip with a flathead screwdriver, spread it out, slide it off, push the pin through, and then um, we'll set that up with our new shoes. So we can slip, we can separate this side for now right here with our tool to remove the springs here. Slide this on, I put your finger on the back side of the pin, which is here, you turn it. Pull our pin out, get this over on this side here. Now this shoe here, we have our self-adjuster in here with one spring. We can separate the shoes a little bit, and roll our self-adjuster out. Now that took all the play off. So we're gonna lubricate our threads here to make sure that these are all good with never sees. Lubricate this side here. And it's pretty well lubricated because of the axle seal right now, as you can see. We'll keep that all in place. We have this tiny spring in here, which we can take off. Now this shoe is off. This spring here goes, slides on this side as well. And it rolls under like this. So when you go to put it on, you're gonna kind of connect these first, we'll show you. Now we're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and open this thing up. While we still have our clip on, our spring holding it in place, it kind of helps us to spread this right now, holds it in place for us. So we'll, we'll use that to our advantage. You could have removed this from the very beginning too if we, if we wanted. All right, let me go get a screwdriver. So we got a couple of pairs of pliers and a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna try and if you can spin this thing out here, you can, wedge it into the shoe here and try and you want to roll this and expand it. I 
as we push this down, if we can get the screwdriver underneath the backside, we can roll the clip off. Kind of like that. Okay, so the clip goes on this side. We're gonna reuse that. And now we can push the pin in and the, the emergency brake shoe has been released. And we'll take the last spring off here. Okay, now we've got our shoe off. We have our emergency brake lever still connected. We're gonna lubricate the pivot point here on it right here. And um, we're gonna put new shoes on this thing. So we're gonna discard these. The new shoe that we get, sometimes you have to drive the pin through it. We'll find out a lot of times they come through with them on there now. And only one shoe, the rear shoe is gonna have the pin in it. So we have a brake shoe with our pin in it. Okay, and that's gonna be the one that goes for your lever down here, okay? And there's a long shoe and a short shoe. So if you're looking here, you got your shoes side by side. And one shoe has less material on it. This one's the short shoe. That's always your forward shoe. So here's our long shoe. Now we're gonna take some Nevises and put a little, right where the shoe runs, just put a little here and there. Well, my six positions here where the shoe runs. You want, the shoe has to ride on this. The shoe's gonna move a little bit. And we're gonna put a little on our lever here, the e-brake lever, pack and brake lever, if you will. And we can roll this in right now if we decide we want to. We can slip this on. This is gonna go in. On a shoe like that, put that on. Uh, let me see, I'm getting, not getting this right here. It has to go on. This is gonna go over that. So that has to go over like that. It's gonna go underneath. All right, so that goes like that. It goes on like that. And you can roll this under. This has to go up over here. Okay, now it's got tension on it, like that. Okay, so that's in place. Now, you can put that on after, I like to do it now. So we're gonna get our shoe, come up into the pinhole here, okay? You got two holes, so you follow your shoe up, and where is it gonna fit comfortably? So where's your hole gonna be? So it looks like it's gonna be, it can't be this one, so it's gonna be this one up here, the highest point on the shoe. Now we have our clip that we had here. Sometimes there's a washer behind, I mean a, uh, a little thin spacer washer behind it. This one didn't have it. Now we can take our pliers and we can slide our pin down here onto this. Okay, we can rotate this around with our finger here. Now we want to grab this with the pliers and these smaller ones may work a little better. We want to collapse this. Sometimes you can open these pliers up and squeeze them on a, on a diagonal like this and see if we can squeeze these into As we can get this thing to squish in. Okay, so we got it squished down there, right? And we can squish it just a little more. Not as easy as it seems. Go on an angle here. Like this. I'm just trying to get this thing squishing just a little bit more. Not gonna fall off, but I'll make it a little tighter. 
All right. All right. Now we have our one shoe here. We got our pin back here. We're gonna line up this, which goes into the, the spot right here. pin getting this first shoe on is probably the hardest hardest pot spot okay now we got our spring here and our spring tool right there can you grab that red tool yep okay so we have our spring we have our clip lined up here you can line it up at 12 o'clock if you want slide the piece on, you can look through, and you turn it, so now it's locked in place, okay? So we get the first side on, and you can grab this side. Now we had our shoe over here with our self adjuster, and this one, the spring, we said it slipped up underneath here like this, and then it went over here on the top. So we sit down in place, and our self-adjuster here, I'm gonna dry this thing off because it's got a little gear oil on it. But we're gonna make sure that there's enough nevices on the threads to keep this clean. This has got plenty of nevices on it. And we kept this in a position so that we knew the way it went on. We got never sees here, so we're good there. And this is in its collapsed position pretty much right now, its shortest position. So as you turn this, this unscrews, and that's what pushes your brake shoes out. So we can slide this up into place in here. Okay, and we're gonna take our other shoe and we can hook it on. Well, we, you know, we're gonna put this in in a minute. So we get our other brake shoe here. We hook it on into the, to the pin right here, okay? And now we can take this and slide this up into place. There we go. Into place like that. And we can pull on the shoe and get it to go into place here. All right. Okay. Let's try and get this lined up with that. Oop, we're on the wrong side of that. It's gonna get down to here. Okay, now let's put our other pin in, which is over here. This is the hardest part of the job, getting this started. Now we haven't put our bar in between our shoes yet, but that's all right. And you got to hold tension on this so it doesn't go springing out here. Let's find the hole here. This one's lined up. We got our other clip right here. Okay, we got that one twisted on. Now, we have a little bit of slack here that we can move around. We're gonna put our bar back in. The bar slides into this slot over here, right there, so that's in there. And then we can creep the shoe back a little and get this in place. Now the spring's in place, this is in place. We collapse this, this is all lined up. Okay, now, when we go to put our spring on, 
We can put this one on. This has to go on first. Like this. And then we can catch this after, this bottom part after. But this is what goes around this clip here. So this clip has to be set in place first. Into your shoe so it sits in like that. Then we lock this in like this. We have to make sure that the, the clip stays flat in here in the hole because it has a it, it's going to pivot in this hole so we have to make sure it see how it's bouncing around here we have to make sure that that stays in flat just like that i think we want to be on the other side of this there you go okay now this pin right here we have to get this lined up first Take our other tool over there, Tony. Slide this up onto this. Keep this flat. Okay. We get that locked on. We can slide this around our pivot. And we can hook this onto our lever up here. Like that. And that's what rides on your self-adjuster here, okay? Now we got one spring left to put on over here. And our spring in here. This is a heavier gauge spring. This thing's like the inside of an amusement park ride. Okay. <laughs> now, our brake, <clears throat> the bar in the middle here is what keeps the shoes apart for the emergency brake shoes. And when you pull on the cable, that pulls this shoe out and it's going to spread both of these shoes to stop the vehicle. So now we have our shoes on here. They look good. Now we want to get a clean piece of sandpaper. We're going to sand this off to make sure we don't have any marks on here. And our brake drum, we need to clean that brake drum up. That's the one that had oil on it. And when you're done, you just give these shoes a little, a little push so everything settles in place. And we grab our self-adjuster and as we can turn it, we can hear it clicking, and we'll adjust up the brakes after we clean the drum. All right, so we're just giving our shoes a light quick sand so they're nice and clean, there's no paw prints on them. Same thing at the back one here. We clean that drum with brake clean and a clean rag. Final wipe down. I'm gonna slip this on the car. We got a plug in the back here that we're gonna pull out. This is the, the plug that goes in the back and we'll put the car up and show you how to adjust the brakes on it. And we'll take our drum and we're going to slide it over our shoes. Make sure everything fits right. So people say on the channel, Steve, hey, did a brake job and now my drum doesn't fit on. And this is why you've got to sometimes adjust that adjuster Right. Back out. Right. right? Yep. So you you bottom the adjuster so it's bottomed on it. Um, and that's what we have right now. The self-adjuster is bottomed. And we also knew that our our um, emergency brake shoe, our lever is all the way down here. So if this lever is pulled, it's pushing on the shoe and it won't seat tight right here. We're seated tight right here so we know our emergency brake cable is not trying to pull on this cable right now and here's the routing one last time that cable it's down around that ear a good shot of it um this thing's like a friggin amusement park ride inside <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in there yeah yeah so <laughs> we got our wheel cylinder all back in place everything's good so we're gonna slip the drum on right now and then we'll show you how to adjust it up We're pretty close to adjustment on this thing here, I can tell you right now. So. All right, so we have our uh, brakes all back together. We're spinning the tire, and we're gonna put a little bit of drag on these. Not too much. We've pulled on the emergency brake cable, and we stepped on the brake pedal to adjust, uh, to get them to center. And 
you can hear it clicking and these ain't going to need much to get this to, to spin free. I think that's about all we're going to need on this. We want to have a little bit of drag on it, but not too much. And we'll do the same on the other side and that should be it. Drag on this one. I'm comfortable with this one. So we're going to put our plugs back in. We'll wipe down the back of plate and we should be all set.